Amy. Hi, I'm Gemma. From Plain Island Preschool. Thanks for joining us today. It's Friday afternoon. What kind of fun stuff do we do on Friday afternoons? <laughs> we always think it's going to be really quick. You, I mean, and then it's not. I think it's because we get distracted. We do sometimes get distracted. But our goal on Friday afternoons is that we change out our learning centers. So the way that we've organized our year and our curriculum is um, that we do learning centers for the week um, with our students. They come either two or three days, so it's plenty of time for them to explore everything that we have set out. And so then on Friday afternoons, we try to put everything away. We usually set a timer. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it done in 30 minutes. We had a lot to put away. I think that's what, what happened today. So we're a little bit late, but we've got everything ready for our first week of October centers. And so we wanted to share it with you. Now, I don't know if it's helpful or not, but we have typed up our entire center plans for the year on this handy little spreadsheet. <laughs> There's a link for it in the video description if you want to know what we've planned or what we've been doing. Hi, you guys. Then you can just print this off or just open it up and look. A lot of these activities are hyperlinked. Which means, like, if you want to know what our kitchen is going to look like, you can click on it and it should take you to some pictures. Not all of them, but most of them. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. There's also a blank template in that video description. So if you'd like to type in your own lesson plans, if this system works for you, then you can do that. Yeah. This isn't everything that we have planned. I feel like we should say that. No, it's just the, the basics. These are just the centers. And then we have three things that we plan daily, and we do those um, more at week by week. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree with you. We plan our circle time lesson and goal. And our art. And our art and our story yes. for the day. We plan those week by week. So those are not on here. No. People are always asking about that. Don't you do art? Don't you do a circle time? Yes, but these are the year-long plans. And we're, we... I don't think we could organize ourselves enough to do every book for every week. I don't think that we sounds could awful. Do that. <laughs> Maybe in another 10 years, yeah, we'll be like, we should just plan it out now. <laughs> Maybe. So, what we like to do with you on Friday afternoons, um, do we do art every day? We have some kind yes. of a creation process, art, or cooking uh, set up every day for them. Yes. Not a craft. Okay. No crafts. Hi, hi, hi. Just art. Yay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just kind of walk you through our plans and give you a sneak peek, kind of like a little classroom tour. Mm -hmm. And Jamie won't have to do it by herself this time. Two weeks I've had to be Sorry. like, set the camera up. Hi. I'm it's like upside down. I'm here. Here I am. I'm gonna be the preschooler like I've always been. I've offered, you can do the camera. No, I'm good, I'm mm -hmm. fine, I don't mind. So we're sitting here at our round, it's a circle table that seats six kids. I would love to come to Vienna. We should go to Vienna. There's a Vienna right here. Um, Daniela, there's one right here in Virginia, like five miles away, but I assume that's not the Vienna that you're talking Maybe about. In which no, case? she's in Austria. Oh. No, no she's really insane. We would like well, that. Well, we are coming to Georgia. <laughs> Georgia here in the U.S.? Yes, of course. <laughs> Above it says hello from Georgia. Hi, we're, we're coming to see you in November. November. Okay, so what I have here is our literacy center. We usually do a fine motor, alphabet, names, I don't know what else, rhyming here at this center. And we try to, we try to alternate it. Yeah, I've got one of our plans. It's, it's alternated most of the time. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tip the camera down. And maybe I'll try to switch it so you can see uh, what we have here. Michelle, we're going to the NACI conference. That's in um, Atlanta, it's in the middle of November. We'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. All right, let's see if this will work. Sorry, my camera is all... Let's put some fun filters no on filters. it. No filters. Okay, so here we are at our literacy center. And everything is right side up. Let's see. And then Gemma says she gets in the comments. I can't read no, well, now it's backwards because you guys are upside down. Is it better the other way? Okay. That's it. So what we have here is a letter rubbing station at our literacy center. So it's just cardstock with um, letter stickers stuck to it. The orange papers are just random letters. And then we also made little cards with the students' names. So this is good for fine motor. 
yeah. and that recognition. meta recognition. I only have uppercase stickers, so if that bothers you, then you have to search for lowercase stickers. We can't find any. So anyway, <laughs> just the expensive crafting ones, and yeah. I like the cheap teacher ones. So, so what you're gonna do is get a bowl of unwrapped crayons. Do you want to tell the secret about this, or should we let them figure it out on their own? We've been doing. We've been teaching. This is our thirteenth year. Do you know how long it took us to realize how to take the papers off of crayons? We used to pick time. at them, you know, mm -hmm. to try to get the wrappers off, and then yeah. our nails would be all crayony. Crayons, and it would take hours. And then, what happened? I don't remember. It was, I think I it think was it last year, and someone said, It's been a couple of times. I don't know, I don't think it was. And someone said, You should just soak them in water and like you just put a little bowl of crayons in water, and then the next thing you know, the papers are off. So, save yourself the effort. We didn't know that initially. Don't be like that. <laughs> so here at the Literacy Center, we've got a pile of just scrap paper and crayons. Yeah. And the kids take their paper, and they tape it down. I moved the tape. Sorry. Um, I'm supposed to tape it down. I left the tape on the tape. It's all good. Humor us. I'm pretending like we're taped down. You're going to do the letters okay, and all the yeah. And then... So what we do is we teach them about, instead of holding the crayon, you know, the right way, you're gonna hold it like this. It is easier when the papers take down. And then they just do like a rubbing. Ooh, the camera's shaking. Oh, yeah. And then they can just do a rubbing to try to find their name or just to go on a letter hunt like this. So it's a really good fine motor activity for them to hold onto the crayons. And then it's also a literacy. Oh, yours is good. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Roland, I'd be awesome. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna show you what we have at the light table and the sensory table next. So give us one second to switch it around. Um, let's see if this works. Okay, so here we are. Is it backwards? It is, now look the... <laughs> All right, so this is our light table area. We actually, I'm gonna step back here so you can see. So this area of our room is kind of like the science and discovery. It includes the light table, our class pet, the sensory area, and our science table. So this is kind of like the discovery, and then of course a bulletin board. And so what we're working on at the light table this week it's is fine motor. fine motor. And yes, we do the rubbings with the threes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good idea. Erica uses an exacto knife to slice the paper off. Yes, but you could just soak it for a second too. It does them all at the same time. Anyway, they're just practicing tracing lines. This is a center that we'll have out for both threes and fours, but the difference is our older kids will use these transparent pony beads. I didn't take the others out because we don't have them again until next week, or into next week, but they're, we're gonna use big glass beads instead for the younger kids. We also have big plastic, yeah, some kind of a bigger bead. Yeah, a big. Bigger ones for our younger kids. So this is what the, the older ones are working on, these tiny little beads, and then we'll just switch the bowls of beads out when our little kids come on Thursday. And Friday, easy enough. Very well done, Miss Gemma. I chose a hard one. A couple people were asking because the bulletin board was in the background last week. We're gonna keep it up for one more week because we were behind schedule. And we kind of like it. It is. So this is just, a, we always do interactive bulletin boards here. And what they do is just take the. So we can um, do it. Maybe. Okay. So we were learning about the five senses in September. It took us. So we have a bowl of body parts. We have a bowl of parts. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just they're on Velcro. So they're just gonna take the parts and we just are talking with them about what your senses are, and to see if they can identify the five senses and attach them to. Mr. Spud here. Oh, that's good. That's a good look. <laughs> Easy enough. So we try to do an interactive bulletin board here. It's down low, close to the ground, so that they can play with it. Um, Remy, so here's the thing. The students will not put the beads in their mouth because they're four and five years old. Four and a half and five. They're really mature. Our class that comes on Monday. And so, no, I have no concerns that they're going to put those pony beads in their mouth. She's asking if we're worried about that. Yep. We are a little bit more worried with our younger kids, which is why we're going to put gigantic beads, big beads there, like fist-sized beads or palm-sized beads. <laughs> All right, here at our sensory table, we have, still have the rice. Yes, we keep the bin filler in the same for a month, except in September we're doing it for an extra week. Yep. And it's just plain white rice, dried rice. This time we have it. 
James Dutton did this for us a long time ago. I've actually duct taped it to the bottom of it because I don't want it falling over on anybody. This is a homemade contraption, so it's yeah, just a piece of PVC yeah. pipe and wood. And there's holes, so they're just working on scooping the uh, rice through the funnels. If you don't have a funnel stand, you could just put funnels and there in. Yeah, easy enough. Mono, yes, it's a cork board covered with white fabric. Yep, easy enough. Anyway, they really enjoy the funnel stand. It's a nice change from just having funnels, but if you don't have the stand, you could just do <laughs> funnels and scoops. So that's one more week with the rice, and then we're going to switch it out for pumpkin seeds next week. All right. Over here is our science investigation area. The first month it was all senses, so we had things you could see, things you could hear, things you could smell, and things you could touch. And now, since we're moving into a new month, we're doing a fall center. And what we have are some books about fall, some pictures of fall that came out of our science unit for the year. And then some different things for our kids to observe. So Jamie Gwen got these from outside. Natural objects outside yes. from fall. Leaves, pine cones. Pine cones, a branch. We're not sure if that's going to be a good idea or not. We'll see. Um, some dried corn. And I need to go buy some little pumpkins to put there too. But we put some magnifying glasses. And it's just an area for the students to observe, um, observe things that happen in the fall. So, if you have never had um, acorns, do you want to tell what happens with the acorns? Okay, so the acorns, well, um, things come out of them. Weevils. Things. Are they called weevils? Weevils. They gross me out <laughs> so badly. And Jamie is always like, oh, look how cool this is. Yep. One year we didn't really think too much about it. We came down and we had a big, big bowl of weevils. Weevils, yes. Which you might was also great. The kids loved it. <laughs> but it grossed me out a little bit. We usually keep our acorns outside and then just bring them in for school because they have little weevils that grow yeah. up. Those pumpkins are not real, but they will be real. I just need to switch. I need to go to shopping this weekend because um, it's still September. Yeah, little worms, exactly. So yes. maybe keep those outside. Oh, I just missed some, uh, there was just a question. I forgot what it said. Oh, where do I get the pumpkin seeds? So I ordered them on Amazon, but I've heard that they're out of stock. You can get them at the grocery store in the bulk food area. Just pumpkin seeds that haven't been um, Roasted or you can open up a pumpkin and then just put them in the oven for a couple of hours on really low. Okay. Okay, so this is our regular block area. We yeah. have... These were introduced right at the very beginning as for the... We had these out oh, last week. So we kept them out. And this is our new, new addition, which we've let them play with already because we have them in the um, play no play no invitation. Yeah, know. earlier this okay. week. So they know how to play. They are familiar with these. And they become, they're very creative with yeah. these. And I think once we combine them with, with some of our um, bags and things, I think it's going to be really good for them. Yeah. So we try to add, um, like Gemma said, we try to add one new thing to the blocks each week and we kind of introduce it. And then as long as they're playing appropriately with the things, then we'll keep them there. So we haven't had any problems with any of these other objects, so we just keep them there. They love those ramps. Um, they love the wooden balls. So we'll see how they do with the little... Uh, tree blocks. They're from the Hobby Lobby, but you could always take a branch and cut it up. You could bake your acorns. Yes, Erica, that's a good idea. That's true. I don't have any motivation to do it the hard way either. <laughs> Somebody asked, do we keep the rice? And it kind of depends. Yes, you can keep the rice. Um, Most of the time. Sorry, we feel silly talking to you when the camera's backwards like that. So, um, somebody asked, do, I look really tall. You look really short. <laughs> Somebody asked, do we keep the rice? And the answer is most, most of, of the time, time, yes. If there's a lot of sneezing or coughing or then we'll, we have kids out sick, then we don't. Then we'll dump it. But we can have kids. All right, I'm going to show you the magnetic whiteboard next. Let's see. Whoa. Sorry. So we have a box of magnetic. I don't know if anyone saw a post about how many magnetic <laughs> that I saw for that in summertime. Anyway. Box of numbers and letters, and all they have to do is figure out if it's a letter or if it's a number. Easy enough. I should. Pro we probably will also put a sign over there, um, like with a, a chart with all the letters and a chart with all the numbers. But I don't have that done. Starting my life. It's on the to-do list. So easy enough. Just a magnetic sorting area for them. And then over here is our dramatic play area, and we've talked about this area a lot in other videos, but. 
We usually have it just set up as a regular housekeeping center, and that's what it is this week. But we do like to rotate our toys just to sort of spark their imaginations and set up an invitation to play. So this week we've put over here some, those are just like the little wooden Melissa and Doug cookies. I love Some cupcakes. And these are really old, but I left a link in the video description. They've redesigned them. They're much cuter. Yeah, but We've got the really old ones. Take the base off them. And then it's a shape matching, really, but... They're, um, they're from Learning Resources, and like I said, I left a link, so there's some new ones. But just a little something new over here, and then we put a tea, a tea set. I'm jumble. very excited about this. Let's see if they can make good tea. <laughs> so it's just, a regular, like I said, a regular housekeeping area, but we try to we try to rotate the toys a little bit so that they've this got something so, new to play this with. This is so exciting. It is really cute. Okay. Okay, you can so it's just a little something extra. It's not the full hot drink cafe. There's your sugar. Um, the, the one is really good. The, yeah. the one was really I tight. One ah! I'll, I'll just do this one then, shall I? There we go. Look at that. <laughs> um, but whatever you have, just try to rotate through your toys so that the kids. Aha. <laughs> I don't like the things to beat me. <laughs> so that the kids can have different opportunities, invitations to play. So. All right, and then. What else? This is, the last this is our math little area. And what we have here are just some number. And some tongs. <laughs> some tongs. We don't have to put tongs. Those are from the dollar store. Really? Yeah, the they're nice. They nice places to keep yeah. them. Can't like break that. them. So the kids could either just use their hands or they could use these little tongs to make. <laughs> or flip this is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy this. And so it's a good fine motor area again, giving them that pincher grass. Hey, Ian. And. Uh, it's also just helping them learn the numbers. So the <laughs> the papers have the shape of the number and then a kid holding up that number of fingers. And they can just pick a new one out of that hangy bit. Hangy bit. Hangy bit and then switch it around. So we should have chosen you the should have. Oh, you should have. <laughs> Over here's our reading corner and we try to switch the books out. It's kind of like our quiet area where they can go if they need to calm down or if it's too busy for them. Well, they just like to read. So we changed it out for, oh, there's two busy little school books. Um, we just changed it out for some new fall books and they can sit here. Some of those books are on CD so they can listen to them here. But are you finished with your six? Nice job. I did cheat and I picked up some books. With your hands? Yeah. <laughs> we have a creation station here. We've done other videos about it, but we're going to go ahead and add the Play-Doh and the watercolors are there. And then we haven't done it yet, but we're also going to put some paint at the easel for the first time. So we cleaned out all the markers that we had up there last week. So, what is in the cabinets above the housekeeping oh. area? Deb. Really? <laughs> all okay. right, Gemma, we'll give you one quick peek. This is where we store all of our stuff. I'll do this one. Here it goes. Oh, puzzles and books. And I'll do this one. Puzzles and books. Puzzles and books. It's all the same. Just boxes and stuff. Just storage. And then the blue ones above are our thematic boxes. So that's that. That's our classroom. We think we're pretty well set up. We still have to switch the calendar to October, because it's still says September back there. And what else do we still have? What's, what's still on the to-do list? Put tape on the table. We need to add the mat, or the scotch tape over here to the table. And other than that, I think that's we're pretty it. well I think that's it. We're pretty well planned. We have our circle time we're gonna do fall. So we're just gonna print the circle time lessons off of the fall unit, which I'll leave up in the video description. And so if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and either Gemma or I will log back on this afternoon and try to answer them where do we store all of our stuff in those white cabinets and we have a closet we We're have not a messy closet. closet and some blue then those blue boxes we just try to sort and stuff and you know tuck it all into corners just like everybody else does what letters have you done um, the blow up ones we've done L and T I think that's all. That's it. So all the questions you want to know what we're doing next week. If you're a student, plug your ears. It's M. Yeah. <laughs> we try to do the ones that have the straight lines first because we try to get them to practice making them and uh, to make the sounds. So those three letters only make one sound. Which is nice. We are not presenting at NACI. We are just attending. We just love to go. We do. We do. We hope to see you there. I'll do yeah. another video about all the different things. Um, we go live from NACI too. We did last year. It was so fun. 
Mono, we can do a video about where we store our craft stuff. Yeah, we can do, add that to the list next week. Where do we get the number from? Hmm. The number one. No, I'm not sure which number you're talking about. Sorry. Anyway, um, if you can clarify, we'll try to log back on and answer your questions. That's all. Yeah. Have a great weekend, you guys. See you again next week. Bye.